Okay, so for this further third example of our second order equations, this is the repeated real root situation. And once again, we always start off with the same exact situation, which is y of t is an e to the r t. Once again, we take the first and second derivative, substitute them into the equation, cancel out the exponentials, and it takes you down to an r squared plus 6 times r plus 9 is equal to 0. And again, that is our auxiliary equation. So now this one factors very nicely as just r plus 3 squared. That's equal to 0. So that tells us that we have our r1 and our r2 being exactly the same. They're both a negative 3. So we can't use e to the negative 3t for both because that's just the same function and it's clearly not linearly independent. So what we do is we put a t in front of the second term to break that linear dependence. So the y of t in this case is going to have an arbitrary constant c1 times e to the negative 3t, a second arbitrary constant c2, and now we have a t e to the negative 3t. And we've shown back in the beginning of this section here that these two exponentials are going to be linearly independent. We could use Duranskian to verify that. Or clearly, one is not a constant multiple of the other. And again, this is two independent solutions of our equation, which is right here.